condemning everything Arteta does or condoning it. Neither are real Arsenal fans. There's too much agendas, you know. And let's be honest, I do think there's been good building blocks. I do think he's doing a lot of good things. I do think he's changing a lot off the field and on it. Would I have liked to have seen it more accelerated? Do I think another manager could have got top four? Do I think another manager wouldn't be tactically naive at times? Do I think another manager would show better game and man management? Of course. Do I think other managers that were going through these periods where other managers at other clubs would have been sacked? They wouldn't have finished the whole season. We know why he's getting this time. This is why I am judging you highly. New contract as well. You can't get all of this. If it ends tomorrow... What is his legacy? He's won the FA Cup. Cool. He's won the English Super Cup. Cool. I have to gas it up. Community Shield settings. He's, you know, showed some big bollocks in getting rid of certain players. There has been some good changes off the field. He, you know, he's doing a lot of good things. But there's still question marks. There's question marks over your adaptability in game. I would actually say, obviously, Saka and Smith Rowe exceptions, but young players, you know, I think you've shown a real reluctance. I feel since you've won the FA Cup, you've kind of disrespected it. I feel when you look at how we went out of the FA Cup and the squad we hardly had, letting people go in January, not addressing certain areas last summer and in January, are on him. I think he showed a, a, a rigidness at the wrong time when we lost to Newcastle and Spurs. He should have went free at the back, gave us a bit more confidence. I do feel with Mikel Arteta, once he, you, you know, I do think a big part of last season why it worked is because we're playing the same team. But I do think he gets in his way now, if we start playing back three tomorrow and we put five games on the trot, he's not going to stop doing that until we lose. And I think there's times you need to do, you need to be a bit more balanced. And even that, there's sometimes Mikel Arteta, he either doesn't change enough or changes too much. Go back to the Brighton game. I like the fact that you tried Lokonga as a lone six, Smith Rowe and Odegaard either side. None of them players are ready to do it. We just lost the game against Palace. We needed to react. That's big, big Graham Potter there. And he's always twerking for Spurs. So he always wants to try and beat us. It was night pause. It was naive. And at one, what point does naivety border, in, border on on stupidity? Because I know he's a new manager and all of these things, but you've been here long enough. And I just feel if we was a different club with different individuals above Arteta and there was a different mentality here, there might be more of a health, that healthy sort of pressure to see more fruits of our labour sort of thing. You know, because if we looked at a lazy one, people are just being rewarded for failure. You didn't get top four. You bottled top four. You sold a striker and didn't bring in any. You know, you sold the little squad players. You over relied on players that were mediocre and you messed it up. It is what it is. So I do believe in Arteta. I wouldn't sack him, but there has to come a time where you have to consider the clip. Let's be honest. This is a relationship of convenience. We are more useful to Arteta than he is to us at this moment. It's not like Arsene Wenger where you can sit there and say, oh, well, maybe we shouldn't have went. He's not qualified for this job and he's got it and he's showing stuff, but he got it when he's not qualified. There's very few aspects on life where you're just going to get a, a senior position just based on your potential. So you got to take the rough with the smooth. Cedric is still there to help Vieira sailing. Forget that. Chill with the Brazilians, man. Big up yourself, man. Exactly. So, again, if it's a long-term project, then all I can do is judge appropriately because project and long-term, it doesn't mean much, really. You know, you could have aspirations. You could be seven years of age and have aspirations to be a doctor. You know you're not going to be a doctor tomorrow. But you know when you're in maths, when you're in English, you know, from primary school to secondary school to college to uni, you know you need to be getting top grades. You know you need to be doing revision. You know what you do today sets up tomorrow. What you do with these experienced players, Cedric, Marie, William, when you had him, Granite Xhaka, Thomas Partey, you know, any other player I've missed out. What you do with these players sets up the platform for the, the ones tomorrow, Saka, Smith, and the ones below them as well. So, again, is what it is. No, I, I don't know. I can't co I can't comment. I can't comment on, on Arteta's coaching staff. What I would say is, you know, players have improved. Set-piece coaches has improved. You know, Airport Donny's done well. So, I do think he's got a good... I think last season we got to see there is a good little bunch of, of, of coaches there, man. DG, pat yourself on the back, bro. You're smashing this thing. Come on, man. T, I appreciate that. And I have to clap for you, lot. Pause. So, yeah, man, I appreciate that. Without you, lot, you know, it's a pleasure to be here day in, day out, man. So, yeah, man, I'll get into it. Keep your opinions and that coming. We'll circle the block again, but I promise is a promise, people. We started waffling about Arteta. Uh, let's get into this transfer news, people. So, yeah, let me make my timestamp. Transfer news. Now, if there's anything that's come out in the last hour or whenever we've been here, obviously, I'm, I'm none the wiser to it, people. Um, again, once again, shameless plug o'clock. We will be live again, 3.30 
you know, an hour before kickoff, we're playing, we're playing Nuremberg. So yeah, make sure you hit the like button on that one, people. Uh, any reason why my screen's not changing? Oh, here we go. Now it all depends what article you read or who you look at, but it seems like we might be reaching a conclusion where the future of Lissandro Martinez is, is concerned. Now, if you remember this guy, I assume based out of Argentina in relation to Latoro Martin, man said Latoro, Lissandro Martinez. He has said the situation of Lissandro Martinez. Arsenal appeared before Manchester United. He made the first formal. I think they mean they made the first formal offer. That's when Lissandro decides to take the step to the Premier League. But he found Ajax, Ajax's position difficult. At that moment, United appeared and the call of Ten Hag continues. Uh, he has gone on to say as well, Ten Hag is the one who powered it up. Logically, he'll have the tendency to go where he is. I mean... It makes sense. Now, I do like, I do think United fans, if they get him, should be happy because I know they've got Melanza. If something goes wrong with Melanza, he can play left back. He's obviously knows, Ten Hag knows him. Obviously, he's a ball playing centre back. United need a centre back more than us. And that's saying something. As I said, we finished fifth for clean sheets, United behind us. Um, I think, he, you know, that I, there's a lot to like about Lissandro, how he talks about how he wants to improve, how he um, speaks about how he analyses his own games, how he models his game on Joshua Kimmich. He wants to play Premier League. He's nicknamed the Butcher. He's South American, left footed, packed, good, good passing range, bit unorthodox in certain aspects, intelligence. There's a reason to want him. I didn't agree with me personally, 30, 40, 50 million, where we've just bought that last summer and there's still no midfield address. Fair play, I would have taken it. But I think United need it more than us. I think we more need a left back. And if he was going to play there, then fair play. But if I was Lissandro, as I said, I would want, I'd be enticed to see what Arteta is talking about. But I know what I'm getting with Ten Hag, you know, and he's been my manager for a while. He's helped me improve. Why wouldn't I go play for him, really and truly? It makes sense. So apparently, Ten Hag's still doing this thing. The problem for Ajax, he wants to go to the Premier League and he considers both teams, but gives exact offers. And apparently, he's, this guy said he gets the feeling that he would choose Manchester United. And then he said, it's an opinion. I don't know, people say. It all depends where you read. If you flip that and you look at uh, Fabrizio Romano, Manchester United are planning to push again for Lissandro Martinez. Ten Hag considers him a priority target. No intention to give up after opening bid turned down. And I think for United and Arsenal fans and for both clubs, the only winners here are Ajax because we're both driving up the price. What I hope, and I'm sure United fans hope as well, there's other targets. By all means, go after Lissandro. Go after Rafinha. Try and get Telemans. Try and get Milinkovic Savage. Try and get Fabian Ruiz. But if these guys say no because you ain't got Champions League, because Arteta got clout, ain't got clout, because they don't believe in what we're doing, have other targets. Because as I said, I will shut my mouth and give the club the courtesy until September if left back is not addressed for me. I, I'd say right back as well, but if you, you know, I think we could get away with Ben White there. If left back is not addressed, if midfield is not addressed, you know, and that's not me being negative, bro. You've seen this story over and over again, really. It's like watching a movie you've seen a million times and still acting surprised by the ending, really. You know, if I watch Boys, I've watched Boys in the Hoods more times than I can count. I know exactly what's going to happen. I can't act surprised that it's happened already. Lissandro's always been tempted. In the race, so again, this saga goes on. Really, I'm kind of tired with it. I hope United get him for what it's worth. Once again, Justin Lissandro Martinez has chosen a team between Arsenal and Manchester United. Apparently, it's them, man, in it. So, yeah, says this Argentine account. Ugh, look, Arky. shout Di Maria. Thought there might be more. Is there any more? So, there's no more in this situation where is Argentine people are based. Oh. And Ajax reject Manchester United's 50 million bid for Lissandro Martinez management in con and don't forget you've got you know you've got Van der Sar and all them guys as well helping their United brethren. But he said management in consultation with the supervisory board are gonna discuss the matter this Friday today. Now that Ten Hag's club have gone the extra mile for the Argentine defender, Ten Hag considers Lissandro Martinez as an important building block in the development of his Manchester United. Lissandro has made it clear he wants to make the next step in his career, people. Apparently, he has chosen to continue his career at Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United. He was the coach who made him stronger, pardon me, as a player. And again, Arteta, I'm sure he's enticed by how Arteta can improve him. But again, you know what you're getting with... Um, we're getting close to 50k subs, big up Harvey. As I was saying, you know what you're getting with Ten Hag. You don't know what you're getting with him. And for me, logically, United have less defenders. You're probably more likely going to play centre-back. 
if you're feeling that left back, well played. It makes sense. If I was Lissandra, I'm going over there, really. I'm not, it's not that I'm not considering Arsenal. I'm definitely making that move. It makes sense. You know what you're getting. Manchester United launch a new looks to meet Ajax's asking price for the unsettled defender amid interest from Arsenal. And the Dutch side will consider the offer today, people. And that is this is it the eighth today? So yeah, this come out this morning. He wants to leave, as we know. Ten Hag wants him. Arsenal have admiration for him. Uh allegedly United's new offer is five million more than their last proposal, and it's closer to Ajax's uh valuation they're considering it the sanjo's done his part he's clearly made it clear whether it's arsenal united i want to move i've had enough um so we'll have to see really they've you know we've had two bids they've rejected bids it is what it is people where that's concerned um obviously apparently you know ajax directors were, were in london to discuss the deal with united again united have offices there who matched arsenal's 38 million pound bid but offered a structure that guaranteed them more cash but now United have caved into Ajax's demands and stumped up more cash as they look to wrap up the deal and convince him to go to Old Trafford rather than the Emirates as they prepare to embark on a pre-season tour in Korea. Once again, Martinez has asked to leave and wants to play in the Premier League. He's told the club to find an agreement soon with either United or Arsenal um, and it will be most beneficial solution for all parties. Arsenal have had two bids rejected. So as long as you've got other targets, who cares, man? I'm tired of seeing this and, um Lissandro Martin is his name. I can't lie, this guy isn't a journalist, but I can't lie, uh, he's quite, he's kind of wavy. Um, and he's been kind of spot on. You know, if you look back July the 1st, Manchester United and Ajax have reached a verbal agreement on a deal for Lissandro Martinez. Ajax have rejected the recent bid from Arsenal. Understand Arsenal are now set to walk away from the deal. He then followed up, to, followed up on his tweet. He said, um, has not been a, a bid from Arsenal since this tweet. Now sources in Argentina state Lissandro has chosen Man United. So great. United, Arsenal move on, in it? Simple as that. Arsenal working behind the scenes on Luis Paqueta deal. Now, again, the headline and when we read the articles are going to be two, two very different things, really and truly. Arsenal are working hard behind the scenes to be the first club to agree personal terms with Lucas Paqueta. Okay. Have we got this article? OK, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, forget that, man. Let's lock this off. I think I've got the exact article. Forget that. Let's go over there quick. Uh, apparently, you know, according to our information, Arsenal are falling for the Brazilian midfielder from Lyon. The Gunners seem determined in this case and are pressing hard behind the scenes to move to move this track forward. If no official approach is deplored with Lyon, with the player, the club of Mikel Arteta does the job. The objective is to convince Luis Paqueta to come before even starting possible negotiations with Lyon. Several clubs have already tried their luck. Some even got the green light from Lyon. But behind the player vetoed, Arsenal first wants to take the player step before the club. So we want to see if he's if he actually wants to sign for Arsenal. And if personal terms can be a thing, then we will bid. Paqueta is listening, strongly courted for a, le a year. Luke, Lucas Paqueta, apologies, is close, is, cl is, is quite close to the idea of leaving Lyon where he feels good. But since this winter and repeated offences of clubs like Newcastle, for example, the Brazilian maestro has changed his thinking. If an interesting opportunity arrives, especially with a sports project that allows him to fully express himself, he could be tempted and clearly is in Arsenal this line. Mikel Arteta has the perfect speech to seduce Lucas Paqueta and according to our, our sources, the Brazilian is listening, very attentive. He lets his thinking mature. After having several offers, Leon did not close the door to the sale of Paqueta. As for Bruno Gomares, if the club is there financially, everything is possible, like you saw with Newcastle and apparently Newcastle won him. The Brazilian refused but to go to Newcastle, but if he had said yes, it's not impossible that Leon would have done the same. Clearly around 15 million euros, 50 million euros, the deal can be concluded quickly. Whether Arsenal will make the leap and how much the Gunners can offer remains to be seen, people. So it is what it is, people. The, uh, the president of the club he currently plays for in Lyon said there are a number of players who can feel completely in the completely in the project and others who are not. Economically, we have the means to go after our, our ideas and objective. They're getting the boys back together. They got Talisio and Lacazette. Just need to get Pjanic now. Um, our ideas and objectives for Lucas. Obviously, this, the subject is posed. We think the coach gave his opinion and there will also be what the footballer wants to do. As you know, he's contracted until 2025, 24 years of age. It's going to take a pretty penny, but he can play in a number of positions. He's a, he, he's Brazilian. He can help us a lot. Jack Wilshere apparently has left the Danish club, AGF. I'm not going to read all of that, my guy, but it's about time you call it a day and start working for Arsenal, my dude. But yeah, big up you. Uh, for what it's worth, Ishmael Benassia, Arsenal scares Milan 40 million the offer. 
Apparently, we've made a £40 million offer for Ismail Benassia. Um, allegedly, and it's easy to see why, left-footed, left-sided, centre-mid, former Arsenal ties, got a good engine, good passing range, very tenacious in a tackle, shouldn't have been sold anyways. The Gunners, in fact, would be looking for a central midfielder and viewfinder seems to have ended up on Ismail Benassia. Um, at the moment, would be an important piece of Milan's puzzle, especially after Kessier left. Um, Arsenal would be ready to offer 40 million euros, an offer that could also cause Milan to Zaneri should find two midfielders on the market to fill the gaps. So Mikel tries Milan, who will have to think about the future of Benassia. So I don't know how concrete that is, but that's that. Should have kept Ramsey. Nah, man, not for the wages they want. Myth. So there's that. Um, Leno apparently has reached an agreement with Fulham, or better yet, Fulham and Leno have an agreement. Apparently, Leno has reached a verbal agreement to join Fulham, according to sources in Germany. Negotiations between the two London clubs are ongoing as Leno enters the final year of his contract. Arsenal want around 11 million for Leno, who has agreed a three year deal with the exception of another year. So it's good for Leno, man. He's currently in Germany. So, yeah, and his agent said previously, yes, Fulham is trying hard to get Bird very professionally. This is also true for some other clubs and shows his status. But as I said, for me, he's the number one target at Arsenal and we are also therefore relaxed. So, he's, for me, he's the number one at Arsenal. He's not, though, is he? Shout out to another young player who's gone out on loan, you know. Really, he's gone to Air United in Scotland and he becomes another one of our loanees. I've our young players either leaving permanently or yeah, whatever. So it's nice to see we're moving forward in something. Um, what's this? Arsenal extremely confident of beating Man United to Lissandro Martinez. I mean, I'm tired of hearing about this guy, don't give a crap anymore. That's Benassia. Uh, what have we got here? If you've still got some hope for Rafina, you know. Make of this what you will. Jesse March offers Rafina transfer update amid Chelsea, Barcelona and Arsenal battle. Apparently, you know, Jesse March says there's urgency from Rafina's side to come up. The dot I's and cross T's people. Um, Barcelona still allegedly haven't technically bidded. Um, Arsenal are still thought to be interested in signing Rafina, despite suggestions the player has snubbed the move to the Gunners and their rivals Tottenham. Um, we'll have to see, in it? I mean, Chelsea's his second choice. If Barca don't work, he's getting dead. I don't know. Zaha's going Roma. He, at least he gets a move playing under Jose Mourinho, another club team in Europe. I mean, contracted until 2023. Palace have to do it. And with uh, with Eze, Elise, Malcolm just joined from Derby and probably other people, you know, they've probably, in Palace, never been more equipped to dealing with his eventual departure, really and truly. 261 likes, people. Can we get to 300? We've stopped the momentum. Twitch gang, you're in top form. K, I appreciate you for resubscribing via Amazon. Come must be a worth 100 million. Nearly 50 million for a backup left back that looked banduli. Again, he looks unorthodox. He does look a bit Rojo-esque at times, you know. We'll never know. Football's a funny old game until he signs. I guess we'd never truthfully know, really. But, yeah, man. DG, what about keeping Pepe as we're only going to get 20 million? I mean, if we don't bring a winger, you might as well. But if I was Pepe and his new agent who we just in, uh, got, 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 keep it moving. Deal with your future. So, yeah, allegedly, Tierney or Tierney hype. Kieran Tierney are back very soon. Yeah, that's great, man. But are you going to stay back tomorrow night? So, yeah, we might see him. That's great for Tierney, man. It's just about staying fit. Allegedly, Juventus can go for Torreira. Apparently, there's a, a sporting director of Pescara has said that basically, you know, Juventus can go can go to Lucas Torreira. Not sure on the, the, the fluidity and the validity of that, but it is whatever, isn't it? You know, hopefully we can get rid of some of these players. Hickey to Brentford done. That Glamando shout, I'm not sure, you know, it's brazy. DG seeing the light on Tierney. Nah, I, I bother. It's Tierney FC. He's our captain. I just can't be bothered when I see Tierney and injury stuff. Like, get a left back. We know how it's going to go with him and Thomas Partey. We know how it might be going with Tommy Asu. Quality players, but if they're not fit, they're irrelevant. So, yeah, Arsenal are reportedly interested in Lucas Paqueta. Arteta is said to be pushing hard to get. We're set to launch a 30 million bid for Yuri Telemans. Tierney's injury re return has been, um, you know, talked about. T T Telemann's agent is in Arsenal talks once again. How many times have we heard that? Boring, man. 
A man said, Giroud said, he revealed he was so desperate to leave Chelsea, he even considered joining Tottenham. Bro, I was so, so desperate to leave that I even told Lampard that I'd have joined Tottenham because I knew that Mourinho wanted me. In the end, I think it would have been difficult because I played for Arsenal. He already played for Chelsea, mate. Don't, don't do like that. Crazy. Bro, Clichy's still mm -hmm. kicking football. Cool it a day, lad. So Campbell got cheated out of a out of some money from a tenant. Bracy. Apparently, Hayes. Oh, we've got Hayes' thing. Jesus has apparently had an interview. People are gonna look at that. Trying to see if there's anything else. Ferdinand is a bit concerned over the lack of height of Lissandro Martin. As he said, you have to be ready physically to deal with these big forwards. Nunes and Haaland have come in at Liverpool and City. They're over six foot two. You have to come up against these guys on a regular basis. Chris Wood at Newcastle. These are big, big guys. Pause. Is he going to be able to deal with people like that? Um, with the size he is, he's on the smaller side as a centre back. So we'll have to see what happens there. Don't know why Ian Wright is jealous of Spurs' signings. Big up the Basuma one though. I mean, we were linked with you yesterday. You lot check out yesterday's one if you want to go over them things there. Let's see what this is saying. Everyone's just reiterating the same old things, people. Arsenal must act fast for Telemans. Ian Wright met Jesus. Apparently, Paqueta is expected to snub Arsenal and his other Premier League suitors this summer in favour of staying at Lyon, people. Um, he's got interest from City, Tottenham and Arsenal. Um, apparently, the report states none of the Brazil, none of the English trio were able to advance talks with the South Americans' reps for a deal. Newcastle also thought to have made an approach. This, however, says we're pushing to get him, really. Arsenal made a bid to re-sign Bernassia, allegedly. We bidded for Eden Zagrovia of, Le of, of Leo yesterday. Skamakas, I don't know what that has to do with Arsenal, but set to go PSG. Apparently, we're looking at, at the Yarby. Arsenal still holding out Rafina Hope. I think that's more agent talk than anything, really. Um, so, yeah, Leno's reached an agreement with Fulham. Hopefully, there can be some more outgoings where that's concerned. Tierney hype, boring. Uh, again, don't forget, people, set your reminders. We are going live to talk about this. Uh, no, Wilshere ain't retired. Has he actually confirmed retired? He just left his team. Wilshere's retired. But it's about time, man. Oh, shit, he has. Oh, well, get your career. Get him back at the Emirates then, mate. Get him back at the Emirates. I mean, on one hand, you know, you've played for Arsenal Football Club. You've played for West Ham. You've played for your country. You've scored at your country. You've been on a tournament with a country. You've won FA Cups. You've played at, You've been a Premier League footballer, you know. You can't... That That's the... That, you know, you've done quite well. But at the same time, at 30 years of age, robbed of, his, of a career with injuries... So it's a myth now, isn't it? You know, as I previously said, and I, and I feel like my prediction is coming through, I think with him not making his full potential as a player, that will give him... Hey, where's the risk? Um, what's that? Um, it will give him the added enthusiasm to, you know, push in his, in, his, in, his, in his managerial career and achieve his full potential as a manager. Today, I am announcing my retirement from playing professional football. It has been an unbelievable journey filled with so many incredible moments. And I feel privileged to have experienced all that I did during my time from being the little boy kicking a ball around in the garden to captain in my beloved Arsenal and playing for my country at World Cup. I have lived the dream, people. Playing at, listen, he's, you know what? I'm not going to keep reading it. You know, we've all got a sub story, but big up Super Jack in it. But it is what it is, man. It's time to do up this managerial thing now, really. You know, it's over, man. The world keeps spinning, my brother. There's nothing else to it. Away from that, because as much as I like Jack Wilshere, it's not relevant to Arsenal, man. Exactly. Come and work with, with, with BFG. There's a job here in Hayland. And I didn't... I'd be, I'd be surprised if we don't see that he's announced he's an Arsenal coach. Didn't we hear he's in talks around doing something at the 23s or under 18s? Crazy, man. Anyways... Apparently, Gabriel Jesus has an interview. Arsenal's new 45 million signing out to win everything, but not to become the new Thierry Henry. I don't know if you'll win everything at Arsenal, but I love the talk, man. I love the talk. Skipping to specifically what the Brazilian international has said. In life, I always liked projects. When Edu came to talk to me, I was so happy with the ideas of the club, the way they want to go, the things they want to do. Then I was pretty sure I would come to Arsenal. But after I talked to Mikel, I was 100% sure because I trust in him, because I trust in this big club and I trust in myself and the players as well. I only trust myself, man. You don't trust no one. We have to run the number nine. There's a lot of talent here. 
very good players, young players. Like me, I'm still young. So everyone is together in this, like a family. That's what I want. Hey, I wish I could do these sick graphics, man. Yeah, remove Lacazette, though. <laughs> remove Lacazette, though. You can't sit here, like I said, you can't sit here with these big homies. Giroud can, I can't lie, just about. You You can't even, you can't be here with Uncle Ian, with big Thierry Henry, with the, you know, the non-flying Dutchman. He was a pagan, but Robin Van Persie was bloody good. Nicholas Anelka, shout the Flygerian Kanu, Alexis, Alexis, baby. A Bamian. Uh, no wonder man's not shaped above. You want him to be like Lacazette? There's already the question marks. Is he going to be on this Lacazette thing? Lacazette like goals, talking about pressing well and working hard. I don't know. Get that. Lacazette, you didn't deserve that straight from me. It's all entertainment. But I've already worked with Mikel, so I know his ideas a little bit. I know the way he wants to play. I know it's quite similar to Pep Guardiola, and I think that fits well. I've come to try to help the guys, and I'll try to learn with them as well as a family. That's the second time he said family. I'm so happy with the group. It's good to see everyone when I joined the club on the first day. It's a big family here. Third time you said family. We're going to play well, train well. And at the end of the season, I'm pretty sure we're going to win something. Slow down, my brother. I hope we win stuff. Let's slow down. We're not seeing, you, brother. You're going to really realize where you're at. I, you're still off that positive helium. You ain't seen it. You haven't seen it. You wait till you're, you've made a run in behind and the PTSD. You think Kevin De Bruyne is, you think you've seen the ball played in front of you and El Nene is still buffering and Jack is still buffering. You wait, mate. I hope you're right, though, man. You, they might be the last trophies you win, really. He said, first of all, I need to adapt, adapt to the club, adapt to the players, the way they play and the way they are. After this, everything else will come naturally. This is football. Football is the same everywhere. Then at the end of the season, I want to win something, win trophies like everybody here at Arsenal. That is the only way to make myself a name in the history of this big club. It's a big club with a big project. When Edu explained to me what they want for the future, I was so excited to join Arsenal because I love the project. I want to win trophies. I want to win everything. He then went on to say, when you say Arsenal, you mean Thierry Henry, as you would expect of someone in their mid-20s. Thierry is unique. He's one of the greatest ever players. But I don't want to be the new Thierry Henry. I want to make myself a name in this club's history. I will be there 90 minutes per game in the box, trying to score, trying to help not only with goals, also with assists, covering the ball, running, in my style, never stop helping my team, helping my teammates. Yeah, that's me. Bro, uh, how did we get here? Seriously. <laughs> he said he wants to be in the box. In his interview at oddarsenal.com, he said he wanted to score goals. I could cry, bro. Like, somebody wants to score goals. This is all I wanted, man. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, man. Thank you. Thank you. Can't believe it. Amazing stuff, but yeah, with that, that's the end of the transfer news, still, people. So, yeah, that's that. We ended it with a little interview from Gabriel Hazes. Should we spin the block once again and see if there's any transfer news that has re emerged? Don't think there is. Mm. Let's change that. Another young Arsenal player has signed a pro deal. Oh. And it seems like we're keeping a lot of these guys that, in my opinion, a lot of these academy boys that are not necessarily going to make it just so we have under 23s. But big up to Billy Vingo, really and truly, man. What's it? Is James Sweet going to get one? Shout out to him, man. He's joined us at 14 years of age. Nice to see him sign a pro deal. That's another young player. You know, you've got him, Childs, who I think is really good, uh, Henry, Jeff Court, pardon me, Moro, Bendira. Look, and quite a few people been given their pros, headed out on loan. Nice to see there's quick progress where that's concerned. I, you're not, you know, child to child, very slept on individual within this academy. I don't think Ovi has a snowball's chance of making it at Arsenal in goal. I can't lie. It's just my opinion. Genuinely, I've watched Arsenal's young players and I look at him and I, I, I was thinking, you must have just won this, this opportunity in a scratch card. You're everything. You, you couldn't be more off. And the fact that he's gone wherever he's gone on loan says everything. But that's just my opinion. Everything is subject to change. Um, obviously, if you want to get optimistic, Arsenal tipped for more signings this summer at mid-chase for Ajax star Lissandro Martinez. Arsenal don't feel they have finished just yet as Mikel Arteta and Eddie try to tr continue to try and improve their squad ahead of next season. I don't know if that's true. This just seems like a think piece. What's this? No, this is all Alan Smith. Forget all of that, man. Respectfully, shout out Alan Smith, but that's dead, man. I'm crying because my Tottenham career is over, man. 
I back the gas, but my guy's cap above. He's capping. He's acting fully. Take last season's goal count. Add Hedis' goal predictions. We're third or fourth, top three or fourth. I don't think it's as simple as that, Carl. You need to keep balls at the back of your net. We're only, you know, out of the whole of the or out of the whole of the top six. We only came ahead of United. So that means Spurs, Chelsea, City, Liverpool, uh, all came ahead of us. You know. We don't score enough goals. We don't keep them out the back of our sheets. We're only bettered by United, and that's by default. We have a slightly better defend defense by them. They're going to improve with them, Arg. So I don't think that's that. Yo, you watching the game today, mate? Yeah, 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 yeah. Farewell, Jack Will. Share blood. Shameless Lacazette portrait, bro. He should be trusting him. Don't even trust Arteta, man. Trust yourself. Did you pay for the Arsenal game? I'll do it if we need to. But yeah, man. Could have been so much more. Bare injuries, man. Bare injuries. Only at 30 as well. It's like having a fancy car that breaks down every two weeks. What's the point? Amen. I don't do TNE like that, man. Wouldn't put too much trust in those Zaha rumors. It comes from dodgy Italian sources. What? So forgive me if I'm wrong. Has Zaha been linked with both Arsenal and something else? Oh, it just seems like it seems like there's Roma. I think that's, you know, 29 years of age, gets a new experience, tries to do up Italy. Yeah, I think that's it, really. You know, he was desperate to move so much. He was considering Everton, was he not, at one point? Apparently, the ball has lowered his, um, what do you call it, man? He's lowered his his, 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 his his wages or his demands to 6 million euros per year. That's around 100k per week. So that means there'll probably be more interest. Obviously, where Arsenal is concerned, we haven't been necessarily linked with Milinkovic Savic today. But uh, Di Marzio has said at the moment, there's no club willing to invest that 75 million Lazio, Lazio are asking for Milinkovic Savic. So I think it's very difficult for him to leave Lazio at the moment. So they're pricing a bit like Ruben Neves. He's priced out of a move, but that might be because they're getting a replacement or they're playing hardball. And as, as the season goes on or pre, you know, the early season goes on and we get closer to the end of the window, they're going to have to accept reality potentially. DG crying more than Tasha and Paige patting up, man. Allow me, man. <laughs> Aye, you're a bad guy, man. You're a bad guy. I'm a bad guy as well because watching Tasha and, pra Tasha and Paige cry was making my day, man. And Andrew as well, man. Andrew's a wet white, bro. Man, just eating kitty cat on national TV. Eating kitty cat with 100 bodies on 